hello guys and welcome back to another police video we are still on this i don't know how long it will take but as long as it takes and thank you guys for suggesting i do more the more i go back to see what i can get the more i get things that i knew nothing about and i appreciate you guys for that to all of you that left me comments about this video i appreciate you and if you're new here hello lillian here and i hope you hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification so that anytime i upload a video youtube will notify you yes i'm working on the military okay and the navy it's a big topic so i'm slow and also because i want to get videos that won't get us into trouble disclaimer disclaimer this is not ghana versus nigeria this is ghana yeah i'm saying this because the comment section of the previous video was not nice nigerians are back they are back again and this time they are coming with ghanaian names please i understand this style okay so calm down i'm not this is not about nigeria when i'm talking to my country people i know how to say it i will say it by your name i'll call you i will address you i'll talk to you so there's no need coming for me this is not ghana versus nigeria this is about the ghana police service okay okay i hope that we clear that so we can move forward uh, by this time i want to believe you have liked this video please like the video as we take a look at all the amazing things that i could find honestly i won't lie that i don't know where to start from because i saw so many things on the internet about the ghana police service especially the women which this video is all about today so right now i have so much much so much that i i don't know where to begin from let's start from um, the training okay it's not like women just rose to the top okay so let's start from the training so that everyone will know that it's not like women just rose to the top overnight just because they are women in ghana no they go through the whole due process just like the men yeah so for that let's start from the very beginning let's see how they got to where i'm going to show you later Later in the video, let's go. This way. This way. Then you should have originals money to enter the arena. We have a special features on who are to be screened. I expected to have in their possession the following documents. <laughs> Hello, my name is Robert Bar Peterson. And I am Zoe Anali. We are both trainees in the Ghana Marine Police Training Course. In our two weeks of training, we've been able to develop our abilities in many aspects. In the classroom, we learn principal basic of navigation and we got the opportunity to practice ashore and on the sea. During our training course, we had the opportunity to cruise up north to Zika Kope to learn and to have fun. On our way coming, we experienced so many challenges, such as cruising on shallow waters, but we working together as a team, we were able to solve those so, uh, problems. Ich führe dich aus dem Nebel heraus Bring dich wieder zurück nach Haus, yeah Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen yeah so it's not something they just woke up and it got handed over to them because they are Ghanaian women sometimes i don't understand how people understand when i say a woman is treated 
rights in Ghana. I, sometimes you see where people are saying, oh, in Ghana, women control men. or oh, women are the head of the family. This and that. That is not it. Okay, I'm saying that in Ghana, women are human. Not because the men are not the head of their families. Okay, so I'm not in any way saying that the woman is the head of the family. Okay, here is Africa. I'm saying the women don't get treated a certain way and when some people pretend not to know what i'm talking about it kind of like annoying me but i won't be pushed to do that in this video this video is staying classy like that for my ladies the police women so when i say women are treated right in ghana I, I'm, I'm not saying that they get handed over things on a platter of gold they work for it i mean i'm talking about a system that enable the woman to be her so don't pretend not to know what i'm talking about anyways the people i'm talking to i believe understands what i mean so now that we have seen the process let's take a look at their beginning how they came about let's see the first police woman in ghana and the first set of police women before he gets to here there you understand that it's not like they have it on a platter of gold they worked for it and they have come a long way and it wasn't easy but they are here so let's take a look at this so i'll be on the screen because this video is heavily monetized okay happy birthday to you Her greatest achievement in terms of the police women and the force was to encourage more women to join the police by her uh, uh, insisting that women who got pregnant and wanted to have children would be allowed to have children and come back and join the force. We were recruited the same day, the 12th of us. Yeah. Straight away, she was made our head. Our main job was matters concerning women and children. You couldn't marry and therefore you couldn't have children. But we were women. So we said, well, that couldn't be because we were serving the country in the same way as the men. They marry, they live with their wives and children. Why can't we marry? The decision by her to petition the governor at that time, uh, requesting that police women should be allowed uh, to marry, get pregnant, and, and have children as and when they wanted was a very important one for all those uh, policemen who came after them I, I believe if that had not happened we would have had less women in the police service right. of course who would have allowed their girls to go join the police if they are not going to be allowed to have a life like of their own i'm not saying a life without family is not a life okay but that should be something that you choose for yourself to say okay oh i do not want a family it's okay that way i support it in fact i got you but it shouldn't be because you are giving service to humanity or to your country or to your loved ones or because the society made you that way but it should be something that you decide for yourself oh i don't want to marry i don't want to have kids i got you sis okay so don't get me wrong i hope we get it all right i have nothing against people who do not want a family in fact the stress that comes with being a mother is even enough to make some people say, okay you know what i don't want it now that we have seen that let's go take a look at how the ghanaian women are doing abroad <laughs> in different countries yeah so let's go to one of the conferences abroad in the western i can't remember which of these countries trees yeah but they were hosted somewhere in the world and they were in attendance massively
like so many women attended you guys <laughs> there's a country that i saw in this video and i was like oh so they have women police yet their women are going through a law i've been watching documentary on youtube about different countries and trying to understand the mind of the people and how women are being treated and why this particular country here i won't mention their name i'm throwing shade right now so whoever could guess you can guess i mean they were in this video uh anyways that's them ghana women dominated though they are not taking last at all the fact that they went so many and they were just into themselves like flying the ghana flag because the energy is different anyway so that energy is different but when they were in lagos they have more the energy in lagos is different because lagos is like home to you know they are in africa so they are not concerned about the skin color here who is going to look at them in certain way let's take a look at the lagos conference they attended it's the international association of women police african region training conference with 520 delegates from over 18 african countries including nigeria angola Botswana, ghana i ate nigeria jollof yesterday and i love it very very hot i enjoyed it many voices are being heard liberia kenya malawi morocco niger namibia rwanda south africa Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Congo. So for a minute, I was concerned. I don't want to hear Ghana Jello versus Nigeria Jello. <laughs> not ready this is one of the social media war between ghana and nigeria that you know i have judged this matter since but i'm glad she kept it classy nigerian jello is sweet it's hot it's spicy she loved it cool we understand all right that is their energy in lagos the energy in africa is different and this is the them when they hosted in accra ghana let's take a look at that i'll be back the international association of women police is a global organization for women in criminal justice professions its mission is to strengthen unite and raise the profile of women in criminal justice internationally the group also fights for the recognition of female law enforcement officers as well as increase the number of women in policing though the association has been in existence for 102 years this is the first time ghana is hosting the board of directors meeting the police ladies association as a member of the association has benefited from training conferences creating opportunities for networking and learning experiences and my friend, and your friend. in ghana they don't have to really dominate like that they have to like give the platform to their guests and <laughs> nigeria you know now nigerian women and Ghanaian women 
the difference is just the environment okay they don't have much difference just the environment and the culture that is the only difference okay so but they gave their platform to their guests and it was all fun to watch of course they have the female police ban their music so what about musically how are they doing how are they doing Charlie how would not say musically <laughs> So this is just a tiny bit of what I could bring to you here. I saw so many because I saw a lot of them. The ones I cannot use and the ones I feel I can work with. So just so you will know, they have so many and they are doing well. See, I'm not advocating for a world without men, okay? But I love this. I love what I'm seeing. I love the fact that women are given a chance to be themselves, to also offer service to humanity you see doctors you see police you see pilots you see nurses lawyers all these people are serving humanity engineers as well teachers as well these are people that are serving humanity so when women are given a chance to also take part in these careers that are male dominated it kind of i like it so i'm not in any ways advocating for a world with no men we need them we need the men for so many things at least to help our monies not finish quick <laughs> so there's another part again that i want to display here the power bike this this babes they, they are not hearing what do they are not even here they are not hearing what Power bike. This one means uh, I don't have the strength to do it, but I can actually watch you do it, film you. I like it. But you see, Lily, I can't do it because I'm that female that will sit down and watch you do what you want to do and support you to do it, making sure you don't back down because the society is against it. Mm -mm. I am that one that will support you to do it, but I don't have the stamina to do it. <laughs> so look at them riding bike. You haven't seen a thing. So hold on let's take a look at the un police the un police women in somalia all right so this is the first video i saw when i was trying to get videos for this video and this is about the Ghanaian women working with united nations peacekeeping in somalia and i was like hold on mama somalia <laughs> dsp hannah ajay is not your everyday kind of police woman she is on the front line working with Ghana's police force in war torn Somalia. I read a lot about Somalia. I heard a lot about Somalia. You always read in the newspaper or uh, hear in the news that uh, there's been bombing here, so uh, it's kind of scary. When you tell someone, oh, I've been deployed to Somalia, say, ah, Somalia is a, is, a, is a volatile area. What are you going to do? There are more than 60 police men and women from five countries working here with the These are the vehicles we use for work. Um, it is usually called Mambas. This is um, an armored vehicle. Even if it passes on e any uh, IED, you can still survive. So the handbrake is here. It stands at about 12 feet high, with the tires alone standing more than 4 feet. 
and weighs about 9,900 kg. The men drive the mamba, we also drive it. And sometimes we even drive better than, than the men. So this is a patriarchal world. But whatever the men are doing, we can also do. So we should tell ourselves we can do it. The security situation in Somalia is still volatile. Amisom's work here is a critical life support that is keeping peace in this country. But more importantly, it is strong women like Hannah who are showing the way that women too can do what men are doing here and sometimes do it even better. This guy, now this guy, babe, are you talk? Anyways. I stumbled on this, this ladies, and I'm like, okay, it'd be like, I don't understand, okay? This is, let's go take a look at them first. I'll, I'll give my opinion. This is the way we want to okay. go. This is the way we want to go. I said, this is the way we want to be. This is the way we want to be. It is half past 10. Some of the 158 personnel of the Ghana Formed Police Unit are gathered on the field singing morale boosting songs before the day's patrols in the town of Badoa here in Somalia. Behind them are armored vehicles they'll be using for the patrols. Here, I've met one of the women in the team, Corporal Dorothy Asari. She's the driver of one of the armored vehicles. When we came, um, that's seven months now. After driving, I don't think I have any challenge because I was a driver before coming to the police and I've been driving for so many years. So I don't have any challenge because what a man can do, a woman can also do. Okay, this, this is this is a Ghanaian woman that I saw in a senior secondary school. As a matter of fact, I have gossiped with my friend Bife. I said, it's like this my sisters they just come off from school and become so cold become so laid back where is the spice like the one in senior high where is it so now these women have given me that spice i mean i'm not really like you know a woman a hot-headed person but I like it when you just stand out. Do you understand? I like women that they're not the hear word, basically. Let me use this pigeon. I like women when they hear word. I hope you understand that pigeon. I like women when they hear word in a positive way, please. <laughs> okay? So seeing these ladies, I am like, okay. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about. I can't even lift. I can't do what they are doing. Like, I can't drive that. I'm too... By now, I want to believe you know my kind of woman. I'm, I'm more of the one that will sit down and support you to do anything positively please but anything that the society think you can do i am that one that will sit back and support you to do it and i got you <laughs> so these ladies repping by driving they say what a man can do a woman too can do it but you know the fun part for me is the fact that they were driving their male colleagues and the men were uncomfortable because i saw their look in the video and i'm like sass you guys are not comfortable you should be because that is how it is when you're driving us okay we just they pray they take risk <laughs> anyway everything about this video I love I love the Ghana police women see I have had I have had an encounter with them as a woman okay I have had an encounter with them who was here last year when I went to report somebody I think is yeah I went to, I take someone I took someone to to them and this particular children's department if you see the way the Ghanaian woman police handled my case if you see the way they handled my case Charlie eh I went there feeling like they are going to treat me a certain way, certainly for being a foreigner and coming from a red zone country, I am never going to be right. She just called me and sat us down. Like the way they handled my issue that day, I don't know what to say, but I feel like if we all act like this by being fair, by being on the side of the truth no matter no matter who is affected or who the truth is against 
yeah you can change the world definitely the people you are against wouldn't like you because some of them do not even know that what they are doing is wrong and a lot of them knows that what they are doing is wrong but they expect you to let them get away with it because it's them they believe they are that special anyways I'm done with today's video. I want to believe that you guys enjoyed it and that you hit the subscription button. I am doing the military. So yeah, that is that.